Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will focus on a tool called Auto Trace Route, which helps to identify IP network connectivity issues when a branch gateway unregisters from CM. This video will focus on a tool called Auto Trace Route that has been part of Communication Manager since the 1.3 release. It has changed over the years based on software progression. It works in conjunction with the options set in the IP options form and the logging levels form. The file structure and methods have been migrated into the standard logging mechanisms of the Linux operating system. The data we'll be looking at is generally stored in the slash var slash log slash messages file. Retrieving and looking at the data will be done with the CM System Log Viewer tool in the Maintenance Web Interface. The first thing we'll look at are the two CM SAT screens. The first screen is the System Parameters IP Options form. Highlighted on the left is the option called Automatic Trace Route on Link Failure. It is a yes-no entry and defaults to yes as shown. The other screen pertinent to the auto trace route is setting the logging level and that is done in the logging levels form. I have entered into that form and there are two items that need to be enabled. The first is in the lower right called trace route and that needs to be set to a Y. The second is on the next page and that field is called log IP registrations and events and that is set to a Y as well for this functionality to work. As a side note, the field also enables logging of IP telephone registrations when it is enabled. We are going to watch the trace log data being written into the var log messages file when the auto trace route method is launched. To trigger the function, a gateway needs to lose connectivity to CM. I have changed directory into slash var slash log and have issued the tail command on the messages file. I have had a gateway located in Wales disconnected to start the event. The auto trace log function output has generated several lines of data to the screen. You can determine that this is the auto trace log output by two things. The first is the syntax shown TR underscore MG in capitals and the IP event tag of IP EVT. I am only showing the output in this manner to illustrate how the data is written to the file. You would not normally be tailing the messages file looking for a gateway to unregister. You would use the maintenance web pages from CM and the log viewer to determine and to locate the events where the IP traffic was blocked trying to reach the disconnected gateway. Before I leave the CLI, I would like to point out another item that was logged right before the auto trace route was spawned. I'm going back into the messages file and locate a specific section within that file. Highlighted on the screen are two SNMP traps sent by the CM server just prior to the trace route method being launched. Shown at the bottom of the screen is the first hop of the trace route output we just previously looked at. I have closed out of the CLI and have logged in to the CM maintenance web page. I am selecting the system logs entry under the diagnostic section. The first thing I am selecting is the log I want to view. In this case, I am selecting the Linux syslog choice, which is also known as var log messages. I have moved down the page and selected the radio button that allows for selection of a specific date and time. In most trouble cases, the date and time of the outage is known, and this would be the most useful method to gather the traceroute data needed to diagnose the connectivity problem. Since we know the time for this event, I'm entering it now. The pattern I want to search checkbox is checked and the search string TR underscore MG is entered. 
Finally, press the View Log button to start the search. After a few seconds, the data is returned and is shown as 16 hops to reach the network where the gateway is located. On the far right of the output, the IP addressing of each hop along the route is detailed. Since I had just had the gateway disconnected from the network for this demo, we were able to see each hop to the distant network. If this was a real WAN failure, the number of hops would be less, and the network administrator could identify where the problem exists and correct it fairly simply. Thank you for your time today. We hope that this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.